Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Always get excited when we have uh, somebody that has high level of intuition, a medium, that type of person with us. I found her, but with that, she's also somebody that teaches you how to harness the power of your intuition. Uh, it's my belief, and we're going to find out how she feels. We all have intuition, different levels of it. How do we tune into it? I think she might be able to help us with that. Kathleen Hilton joins us on the program. Welcome. How are you? I'm doing great, Steve. How are you doing? Fantastic. Yeah. So let's go there with, with intuition. We all have it? Yes? Absolutely. Okay. So what is going on with some people like yourself that have figured out how to tune into it more than, let's say, others? Uh, is it a skill that can be learned? Can we all do it? Yes, absolutely. And it, for me, it was more of a life skill. It was a necess necessary. <laughs> um, you know, some people ask, oh, when did you know that you were psychic? And, when, you know, assuming that I grew up and I was seeing auras my whole life. No, I, I just wasn't functioning well in the world. And it was because, you know, I have a lot of sensitivities. A lot of people are like that, where they just feel everything or, you know, they talk to a friend and then they carry all their friend's pain. These are really normal things. And for my journey, it was really just helped me become really strong, you know, because I was kind of a tumbleweed in the wind. And everybody has them. But a lot of people think it's that other person that has them because there's all this hubbaloo about being intuitive or psychic. It's just this you know, it's, it's very normal. We all have psychic abilities. We all have intuitive abilities and we're just trained not to listen through upbringing, you know, through the most innocent things, such as a little child, you know, seeing their parents upset with each other, you know, asking mommy, are you upset? Oh no. And there's no ill intent, but that child's learning how not to trust. Well, I thought I saw that. So we start doubting or um, pain, pain in our lives helps us shut things down. So real, you know, it's it's funny because all my students are like, I don't know whether I'm really psychic, but everybody is just amazing, all these skills, you know. And yes, right. it's like working at a gym. You know, you go to the gym, you all have muscles, but how much are you going to dedicate to those skills? Because it takes dedication. It does. It's a, a path, a journey, just like anything else. Hmm. How long when you teach somebody, it's interesting, we're, we're, we're into the teaching phase before we even got into the intuition medium phase, which is fine, because uh, I find it fascinating. Yeah. How long does it take to fine tune your intuition where you can feel things, sense things? I don't know if that also means connect with the other side and get messages from spirit. Uh, tell us about that. Um, it, it's not very fast. I mean, sorry, it's very fast, you know, it's like for my intuition training, for instance, you know, I, the women start and, you know, before they know it, they're, they're already using their skills and some people intuit differently. You know, we all have, we know things, we see things, we feel things, we hear things, we all have the abilities, but some people are stronger than others. And I just help them really tune into what their flavor of, their intuition is and it's it's actually very quick um mm. they you know the, the class helps to um just we do different things meditations cleaning our chakras things like that to clear it out um but i find once you start on a path like this it's work but it moves quickly now in terms of me mediumship i wouldn't call myself a medium um mediums is a different it's kind of like doctors you know I, when I do readings, I absolutely can see people that have passed on, you know, spirit and things like that. But there's a whole training that goes into mediumship, which is, um, I know many of them, but I wouldn't call myself that. So, so you wouldn't, you wouldn't call yourself a, a medium that connects with the other side. No, that's not my, my primary thing. It's really an intuitive reader and healer, which I read your aura. I can read your Keshik records, things like that. And mm. oftentimes loved ones come by and I can sort of intuit messages back and forth, but that's secondary. Um, there's some really skilled mediums in this world. Um, and that's just not what my calling was. Gotcha. Um, Akashic records. I, I hear Akashic, Akashic. I know. <laughs> tomato, tomato. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Um, well, I, I, I'm aware of what it is. Tell us what that is. Yeah, that's such a fun thing. And 
I, I probably will say both pronunciations during this. So um, it's basically your book of life. You know, this is another skill, another tool that we're born with that often seems like, oh, you know, you have to be this person, you know. No, it's part of your birthright to, to access your records. It's your soul journey. It's the journey of your life, everything you've been through. It helps with patterns, maybe why you, you're repeating something you can't get through, why you're in this relationship, mm. um, as well as, you know, connecting with guides, information, and things like that. And um, it is possible for every person to access their own. Again, it's just not something that has been, you know, that you see on TV and in terms of, you know, well, yeah, you can struggle and, and do all these things. But when it comes to your natural spiritual gifts and the ease of those, we live in a world that doesn't really promote them or doesn't really acknowledge them. When we, and this is the part that I, I try to put together, and I've heard a lot about the records, how it, it, it's your life, what what yeah. you're, where you've been, where you're going, your life purpose, all of that. Yeah. It's almost like, call it a book. It's almost like, like it it's, it, it's all there. Yeah. Um, if I, and, and just for illustration purposes, if I asked you to access mine, would you be able to come out and tell me certain things about my life, where I've been and where I'm going? Yeah. Well, the, the book, um, the records are the future's possibilities, right? There's no like set in stone things. That's why I don't read people say, well, can you predict my future? I don't, I believe we create it now, right? So the records will, will say what the possibilities are, what you're creating by what you're thinking and doing. But yes, absolutely. Um, you know, it's with those readings, it's great to have specific questions and then, um, you know, can easily access your records, ask those questions. And it's really fun because every time there's, it's different, you know, it's, you might go back to a, something that happened in this, you know, when you were a kid or, you know, past lives or all sorts of things come up based on people's questions, but they're always incredibly healing. And it's really neat because what I see, it, it helps people click, like understand why they're thinking certain ways. You know, it's, it's, it's like real subtle, like they're asking questions and they get a lot of clarity on, on, you know, why they are where they are, you know, what their skills are. And it's like any kind of reading, it's stuff they already know deep inside. Hmm. Yeah, well, I, I'm a, fun. I, I, uh, I pilot by this phrase, all I need is within me now. Yeah. And I believe that's kind of what you're saying. It's, it's a, everything we got. It's all there. Uh, yeah. Accessing it. That's the challenge. Um, and properly accessing it. When you access somebody's Akashic records, mm -hmm. what are you using to, to get into the book, so to speak? And how long does it take to get yeah, some, some information? Oh, it's very quick. It's, it's really, if you want to look at it, it's a state of mind. So it, it's it's very quick, and the information usually comes very quickly as well. And you know, so I'll be sitting in front of somebody like I'm sitting with you, you know, kind of tune into the records and then just start talking. So it's very simple, very easy. And the same when like when I teach people how to access their own, it's you know, it's once they blow through a lot of the doubt, <laughs> with so much doubt, they are able to really access their own and, and get some information and healing. It's, wow. It's uh, yeah. It's it's kind of exciting. And it, I, you know, the, the other way I, I guess we would put it is it's the universe keeping score, I guess. Right. Well, yes, it's everything that's ever happened. Right. So if you look, I was talking about it this way. It's like if you took a journal of a trip across the country. Right. Your case, your records is like that, except it, it it's a soul. It's your soul. So it, you are your soul. You, know, you are a spirit. So it's the whole journey you've ever been through. It's like the, the journal that you took, but it also has how everything's intertwined and everything ever happened. You know, it's, it's very massive. It's um, one of the things that I, when I'm teaching, it's, there's a introduction I found long story short, but it's, you know, if you think about the internet, how the internet's changed us over the last, whatever, before, you know, last decade or whatever, there's so much information on the internet. You can just, plug something in and get your answer. The records are 50 million times more information, you know, just to kind of give you a, a, a mm. visual about that. But again, it's, it's something that, you know, you can access, you don't have to be you know, on a mountaintop, you know, and that's, 
that's the thing too, like meditation too, it's for being in the city, you know, you know, learning how to center and be in the city, you know, um, you know, sometimes I'll be working in events and people are like, Oh, aren't you distracted? I'm like, no, this is great. You know, being here helps me focus amongst all the, all the energy. Right. So it's like, again, that's life skills. So I'm sort of going from records to meditation, but it's, it's really just showing how they're all here for us to function better. Thanks for clarifying it. Cause I didn't know it was that easy to yeah. access them. I thought it was a whole long process. Exactly. <laughs> mm, wow. And, and is it your, if you were to do it for me, you're tuning into my energy and we probably don't even have time. Otherwise I've, I've entertained that today, but you're, you're tuning into that person's energy. Is that kind of how it works? It's well, an intuitive psychic reading is would be tuning into your aura, you know, your, your soul around your, your radiance around your body. The um, records are, are definitely much more on a soul level. Um, so it's a different, it's getting information from a different place. Gotcha. And, and, you know, if you wanted to, I probably could, you know, tune into something for you. It, feel free. <laughs> okay. well, I, would, I would need a question for the records. So think about a question. Okay. And, and I'll be right with you. <clears throat> am I saying the question or am I thinking? Yeah. It? In, in just a minute. Let me just set up. Sure. Quick. Okay. Go ahead with the question. <clears throat> I'm sure you get this question a lot, but what do you see in terms of personal and or romantic type relationships? That, that That's a very big question. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, what I see is a lot of orange here, Steve, and it's when, you know, how you came in to your life, you have a, you're just a bright, like this orange, very, very loving, very gentle soul. And so I just see you, you know, landing in this life, like an airplane sort of bouncing along <laughs> and you've run into um, some pretty, um, I, I just see these straps around your heart, right? So I see some relationships in this particular life that have really affected you on a heart level and made you afraid of really opening up to the the depth of connection that you're looking for because you have this ability to really connect. And um, so what I see now that's happening for you is first of all, there's some healing coming in for you. Would you do, would you like that? It often happens like your guide guide send in healing. So um, that's coming in as a violet color oddly, oddly enough. So and that's coming in right to your heart and um a lot of a lot of sadness, a lot of tears in here, um, of being misunderstood. But what I see is this is a time in your life right now that you have decided to have faith again. Um, you know, obviously you've you've done well relating to people in life, but there's this part of you that really wants this deeper, this love connection that you know you can have because you've had it in the past and you are that. So I see now your heart opening again and using the wisdom that um, you've gained, you know, to, to really use your discernment, use your clairvoyance to really trust, you learn how to trust people because it looks like there's a lot of people around you that aren't really straightforward um, and you, you're just very trusting. So um, then there's also another thing about when you were a child and here is pointing out something um, just a time that you got really hurt um, emotionally. You're a very sensitive kid and I, I just see you on a sled. I know you don't like winter, but it's almost like being on a sled and, and rolling down the hill um, with some sort of family, family um, trauma around you. So with all of that said, um, you're now moving forward again to possibilities, a lot of orange coming in your heart and um, you're using your energy now, your soul energy, who you really are, to reach out and connect to the right people and attract them to you. It's like starting to manifest relationships on a different way now. And it's on a soul level where you're connecting and starting to just allow the right people to come in. And then I see what you're creating is you've got your arms around these people and it's like you kind of found your, your, your tribe, you found your people. And the people that you're bringing in are ones that you have agreements with already that are going to really support you um, in 
and really manifesting or really bringing who you really are into your body, you know, just really bringing that light in and that connection and that love of people. <clears throat> I don't want to agree with you just to agree, <laughs> but <laughs> you're right on all points. And I'm as every time you said something, I'm either either validating in my mind or just pushing it away. Like, mm, no, not, not correct. Not correct. Um, mm -hmm. They, everything was, what you said is on target and some can say, well, it's kind of specific, but no, it's not, you know, every guy is different. Every woman, every man is different. Every woman is different. Yeah. Um, you describe me and at this juncture, that's exactly right. Even as of recently, the last two weeks of, a situation where a lot of new people have come into my life. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you can't, can't make that up. That's truth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I, it's I, neat, huh? I mean, it's, it's fun, you know, yeah. and the most important thing doesn't matter what anybody else thinks or feels is whatever rang true for you, Steve, you know, that's what's most important. And, and then it just brings a little peace. Um, I just see it, it brings like peace to people's minds and validation really. And so yeah. W yeah, without that's, a doubt that's the beauty of it so so i want to ask uh in your journey um kathleen how did that happen how did you get to this point where you're trusting intuition and going very deep with all of this stuff oh it's just a, it was been a life journey like cuz i started i had to i went i went towards um learning about my abilities when i was 22 you know, much older, 58 almost. And so I've been at it for a very long time and it's been trial and error, you know, learning how to listen to my intuition was a lot of not listening to it. Right. It was a lot of, a lot of healing looking inside at my own darkest darkness and the patterns that were highly self-destructive and really just having a lot of faith about um, the goodness in the universe and the power of, of source, however, I call it our creator, for neutrality is you know, people have different types of religions and spirituality, but our creator is so much a part of it. Um, and it's, it's just been a journey. It's not like all of a sudden I woke up and I'm, you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I'm hey, this. I have ability. You know? Yeah, no, exactly. You know, just like how you got your career was work. Right. Um, I'm assuming that nobody just handed this to you. So you have no uh, idea. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> or maybe you do. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I started this at nine years old and uh, out of necessity and, and no money when I was a kid, I taught myself electronics and yeah. and figured out how to do all this kind of stuff yeah. uh, because I wanted it so bad. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. And, you know, there's a part, there's a calling, I think, like, you know, for instance, I was seeing your, you know, how you came into this world, just, you know, this very bright loving person and there's a certain callings that you have so i believe that this is also a calling but it's also something i deeply love like when i'm teaching or reading there's there's nothing like it it's just pure love um you know and and of course i've been oh, told i'm wrong and you know had you know clients that weren't you know all the stuff you know sure sure <laughs> So, you know, I wish there was just like an easy thing to say, but it's just a journey and it's, it's work. Well, I'm sure when you got to the point where some say, well, that's not accurate. That's not right. Um, you go with your intuition and you know, what's right. You know, and maybe they're trying to, Hey, I could have said, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Kathleen, that was off. That was, you weren't, mm -hmm. you know, and deep down inside, you'd be saying to yourself, no, that is right. But yeah, you know, exactly. he's just saying that, um, I'm an open book. So no matter what you said, what, if it's right or wrong, I'm going to tell you everything yeah. I have to say was, was on target Good. in yeah. that. Um, do, when you do a longer session, do you go even layers deeper into the Akashic records and all of that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's, it's really, you know, it's what, whatever the person wants and how, how long, usually a, a reading will be about 45 minutes, sometimes an hour. Sure. Um, just based upon the amount of questions and the amount of information that comes up and it can just be, it just keeps mm -hmm. going. It's, it's really fascinating. Like I said, it's different with everybody. Um, when you, and I want to get to how we connect with you and do classes and readings, but mm -hmm. when you said color and you said for me, color orange, mm -hmm. what does that represent? Um, there is a standard sort of 
orange means this, orange means that. But it really has to do with the vibration that um, that you that goes with it. Like again, I was seeing orange for you, and in this case, it's symbolizing healing. And it's funny. It's like um, it, it reminds me of like a superhero kind of landing. It has to do with healing um, and the quality of of you on a soul level is very healing, very loving. So that's what orange meant in that moment. Gotcha. Okay. Um, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Super cool. Uh, yeah. If somebody wants to be read or learn from you mm -hmm. on how to do that and harness their intuition, how do they do that? Well, I have a website. Um, it's Kathleen. My my name is Kathleen with a C, which is really important. C A T H L E E N at Blessings Center. So that's blessing with an S. Blessingscenter.com. I offer uh, free consultations um, just so, you know, if somebody comes to me and I can talk to them and see if my offerings may help. If not, I, I know a lot of people that I could direct them to maybe this other person, like maybe they want a medium, you know, so I can refer mm -hmm. to a medium friend. Sure. Um, my phone number, is it okay? I can get my phone number, right? Yeah, absolutely. 510-220-2241. You can call or text. You know, I'm very easy to um, reach. Uh, I have some bookings on my website, but then also a lot of other I book off site. Um, but yeah, you know, it's easy hmm. to reach me. Final question. When it comes to intuition, intuition, that feeling, mm -hmm. uh, that gut feeling, how do you describe it? What do you get? How do you know that that is the right answer? It, it is a gut feeling. Um, you mean when I'm reading or? No, it's in general for the rest of us, you know, how, yeah, how just... you identify it. Yeah, it's the gut feeling. It's that knowingness that, mm, that everybody can relate to. I know anybody listening to this knows that feeling. Um, and the process is trusting that feeling. And like I said, part of my journey was, okay, here's that feeling, but I'm not going to listen. <laughs> so I didn't listen and ended up in some trouble or whatever. And then the next time I heard that, but I wanted to do something different, right? So you just trust yourself. You you have that knowingness. You, you like when you meet somebody and you feel, oh, I'm not comfortable around this person. Trust it. Even if, because people are really good at putting smiles on their face and coming real, you know, I'm sure you've run across a lot of people that are putting great facades on, but your gut, listen to your gut. And doesn't mean you don't interact with that person. You just have different boundaries. So I just invite everybody just to tune into yourselves. I mean, you know, it's all in here, like Steve, whatever, how your motto, it's all inside. And, um, you know, just take some time just to close your eyes and breathe and just ask that your intuition become more clear to you. You know, it's very, very simple to do that. And then you'll start, you'll start building on that. Yeah, you know, I go, I pilot by another uh, phrase, and I'm not sure if it's Bob Marley or if it's William Shakespeare. I've seen both. I've seen memes, quotes, whatever, but it resonated so much with me in my journey in the last three years. And it's love everyone, trust few, do the right thing. Yeah, that's that's actually really great. I, I agree. Yeah, you know, it, it took yeah. a while to figure that one out. And mm -hmm. when you say love everyone, yes, you walk into a Starbucks and, mm -hmm. you know, the person at the counter is taking care of you. You send positive love vibration. It's all Absolutely. good. Um, trust few. Doesn't mean you trust them with your, with your bank account. <laughs> right, right. And it yeah. doesn't mean even people that are close to you that you fully trust them um, exactly. and, and do the right thing. But that also means for the greatest, greatest good, not just, well, I'm doing the right thing for myself, <laughs> back with everybody else. No, that means universally. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that's also an intuitive thing where you know what is right. Because you, you ask, you know, what what is right in the situation in the greater good of all things? And you will get that answer. Mm, point taken. It's so funny. Uh, I have to make a decision for something later on this evening. Mm -hmm. um, and the more we talk about it, the more I'm leaning in the direction I was in the beginning yeah. of what to do. And Part of me is like, no, 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 but it's, it's, it's just, it's even clearer yeah. in this. And I can even feel it in my stomach. Like, no, that's not a good idea. <laughs> well, great. That's so excellent. So just listen to that because a lot of times it's other people's influence that would want you to do whatever that is, that you're sensitive to, you're hearing, you're feeling it. That's what causes the doubt. Well, you know, listen. 
<laughs> in my journey uh, and over years, I can go back 25 years and the decision I made then, um, if I, if I knew I can picture myself what I was doing at that moment and uh, the angle of the sun, all of it. I remember it. And I knew what the right answer was, but I needed I felt I needed to go over here. I should have listened over here because this would have been more work at that time mm -hmm. to, to, to pivot over it that way. Um, but that's how I know that this is real when you have that feeling, uh, I guess, from the negative experiences <laughs> over time. That's how you learn. I mean, that's how I learned yeah. is like, okay, yeah. I have to listen to that moving forward. You know, it's, it's, it's like dating yourself, really understanding what your intuitive, um, how you intuit and how you feel that and how you listen to that. Uh, fabulous talking with you. Yeah, it's just been so much fun. <laughs> same, same. Uh, and you do so much uh, as an intuitive reader and teacher. Blessingscenter.com, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you were spot on. I, 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 I have to say it again. I'm not saying that because we're talking here. You were. <laughs> and it wasn't, if you take one piece of it, somebody could say, you know, and I'm skeptical too. You could say, oh, well, it's kind of general. But when you take all of the things that you said in your quick reading of me, and again, it was what, maybe you know, four minutes, if that, um, everything was right on, spot on in terms of what, what I'm dealing with. <laughs> Pretty yeah, amazing. And, and that's what matters. It doesn't really matter what other people think. Yeah. It really matters how it landed on for you. And so I'm really glad that you got something out of that. Yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> Kathleen, thank you so much. And uh, looking forward if we get a chance to talk again soon. Yeah, me too. Take care. Blessingscenter.com. We'll be right back. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go, and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit HFOTUSA.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's it's going to be okay.